Danke sehr. Als nächstes die Kollegin Merkis. Thank you. Uh, I am very happy to hear your commitment on the uh, SME, since currently only one out of ten is receiving the support of the framework program. But since you already satisfactorily answered that, I want to go into another question, and that is, I hear you a lot, uh, 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 Mrs. Gengquin, on research. I hear you less on innovation. And to me, innovation is something really, uh, innovation is different than research. And what I really am worried about is the commercialization of research, of, of knowledge, uh, into a product, into innovation. Innovation, to me, is in the end bringing a product to the market. And we serious, we are very good in science. We are very good in research in the European Union. However, we are not so good in turning this into a product. And this is what, go, what is going to drive the green economy. So if you're talking about jobs, we're talking about SMEs, innovations related to the market. Okay, Jim Quinn. Of course, innovation is related to the market, and we're talking about research to retail. I think that's very important. In the way that we move forward, the research, the excellent research that has been done and has been supported, bringing it to the marketplace, helping companies that need the research to avail of it, to access it, to be able to use it in all of the global challenges that are out there, from energy, climate change, food security, uh, health, uh, medicines, an aging population. We need to provide, the research is there. What we need to do is commercialize the research to provide the products at the end of the day that are needed to deal with the various big societal grand challenges that need to be faced, but also to ensure that by doing that, that we build a better society into the future for our people. We have to innovate. Innovation is not the responsibility of one commissioner. It's not the responsibility of one member state. It's an overarching, a cross-cutting policy that everybody together, from energy to environment, to uh, industry, to enterprise, to all of the areas have to be involved working together, using the research, the excellent research that is there that can provide the products at the end of the day. And in doing that, we have to remove the obstacles that I talked about earlier, whether it is in the area of patents, whether it's in the area of uh, intellectual property rights, all of the obstacles that need to be removed so that we can use the research, put it in place, innovate with it and provide the jobs. Oh, Marcus, once again. Yet, uh, uh, you are the Commissioner for Research and Innovation, and, you, and that is really my, my uh, uh, worry, that innovation should indeed be horizontal, a horizontal issue in the Commission. And fortunately, Mr. Barroso has said that innovation is one of his prime targets, is his, his, his really prime priority, uh, priority, and he is going to come in the spring of 2010 with an innovation agenda, an innovation act, but what does that then do to you? Are are you going to be, uh, uh, are you going to be uh, directed by Mr. Barroso, okay. or are you going to direct the other commissioners? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Barroso is very interested in my reply. <laughs> I can tell you he's, uh, were you to, uh, to uh, uh, confirm me, I'll be a very robust commissioner in uh, President Barroso's commission. However, of course, innovation is a cross-cutting issue. We already have, and I mentioned, the different commissioners that are involved. I will chair, chair the group of innovation commissioners to, so that we together can bring forward the, the innovation policy for the Commission for the Europe as a whole. We can't do it individually, but everybody is involved in different bits, like um, uh, Nelly Cruz is involved in the digital area, uh, like Antonio Tahani is involved in the industrial area, like Mr. Ottinger is involved in the energy area. There are innovation, innovation cre um, cross-cuts every area of policy, but it will be my responsibility to chair the committee of those commissioners, to bring the policy together, 
That will be done in a tight framework because I'm, I don't believe in talking shops. I don't necessarily like the idea of committees that go on and talk forever and don't deliver or make change or have any action. So I want action. I want to deliver. I want to make sure that we have to achieve our vision of EU 2020. And that vision is how research and innovation can best contribute to the EU 2020 strategy. So I won't be a mouse, I won't be quiet, I will be robust, but I will be collegial. Thank you. Next, next is the Kollegin Rivasi, das Wort.